So I'm not sure if people have been following what has been going on in Rome with the World Meeting of the Families. I was just looking at the closing mass today celebrated by Cardinal Kevin Farrell and half of the Piazza San Pedro, half of the Piazza in front of the Vatican was empty. Uh, it, it went up to the to the middle and you could see that, that, that half of it was empty and I was just wondering well, what has happened with the organisation in the Vatican. I've never seen this before. I thought 2018, if people remember, there was the closing mass of, of Pope Francis' visit to Ireland and they had held the World Meeting of the Families uh, Mass in Crow Park which was relatively well attended. It wasn't packed but it was relatively well attended. And this year, it just seems that they've had an organizational disaster. And this isn't normal, guys. If people don't know how Rome works, you know, a Cardinal will call up the leaders of the major um, lay movements in the church, uh, Focolari, Communion Liberation, uh, neo and Opus Dei, the various uh, movements in the church and, or some others, and they will, you know, they will definitely get something organized. It's been a pure disaster for the Vatican. And then I got this email. I'm just going to read it out for you. I think this explains a lot. The reason the 2022 World Meeting of the Families is such a non-event lies principally in the incompetence of the Vicariate of Rome, the headquarters of the Diocese of Rome, headed by Cardinal Angelo Donatis. The Diocese of Rome is not in a good place at the moment. The appointment of Donatis, like so many of France's appointments, has re revealed itself to be an utter disaster on so many fronts, vocations, finances, you name it. Until re very recently, it was rumoured that Donatis would be heading to the Apostolic Penitentiary to take over from Cardinal Mauro Piacenza, who was due to retire. The idea was to replace him with the Cardinal Archbishop of Siena, a minus Abbins like Donatis, who has no merit beyond the fact that he is an in-out lefty. Something that has struck fear desolation into the hearts of Roman clergy who saw the appointment as being out of the frying pan and into the fire. Maybe Francis will move ahead with the appointment or maybe he won't. But Rome as a diocese is well and truly up the creek without a paddle. My warmest congratulations to Crevy. I've discovered by accident and never missed an episode since. A lover of tradition. So you get an idea of what is going on in Rome. It's, it's a complete disaster at the moment. As far as preparation for the world, meeting the families, I've never seen it like that. I remember it was year 2000 um, and you know Pope John Paul wasn't in the best health, but they had a massive gathering of families in Rome for the World, um, world Day of Families. Um, and I think this is, has to be the worst PR stunt, the worst preparation in the history of that event. Um, and it doesn't have to be like that. But I'm just wondering, have they not engaged the groups around the church? Or are those groups refusing to engage? That's the, that's the interesting question. That's really, really powerful. If you think about it, maybe there's a silent protest against Pope Francis. And we're seeing it now in the World Meeting of the Families in Rome. When we saw it the, the evening in, in the Pope Paul VI Hall, you know, the half the hall, I'd say 60, it was 60% full, 40% empty. If somebody was going to organise that event properly, they would have had a few screens out in the Piazza San Pedro, invited 10,000 people, um, make sure Pope Paul VI Hall is full and you could have some families outside uh, have that event, you know, you know, really, really living up to what it should be. But it seems that they don't know how to organise things anymore. It really does. I mean, that mass in, in Piazza San Petro is, you know, what? Like, what is going on in Rome? It, it makes no sense to see that level of um, bad preparation in, in Rome. And I suppose that this speaks to the pontificate of Pope Francis, which is not able to um, engage with families. And I'm doing this video because pe if people don't realize it, 
the key to ref to reform in the church is the family it's always been the family the family is the future and if you're not able to catechize in family if you're not able to reach families there's very little hope for the faith in the church and that is the damning indictment of the pontificate of Pope Francis that in 2022, we're meeting the families, they're not able to engage families to an event in Rome. I mean, it's quite, quite clear. Anybody that's looking at this, we're all looking around. We're like, this is, an, this is, I mean, this is a flop. It is the worst, uh, it was the worst organized, you know, event in the history of that event in the church. Um, so you'd wonder really who is who is um, uh, organizing these things in Rome. Uh, in the past, the Vatican would always have engaged with different groups around the church, and I'm wondering: have they, have they? Is there a silent protest now against Pope Francis? Are these groups refusing to engage in, in that event because it, it, that's not. That, I've never seen that in the in the church before. Never seen that. We've been at word meeting the families. We went to, there was one in Madrid, as far as I'm aware, I remember, stand corrected, was packed. I think it was Pope Benedict there was there at the time. And the one in the year 2000 was also packed. I've, as far as I'm aware, I remember, they had a mass that wasn't even in the Vatican. It was somewhere else in Rome. And it was, I mean, it was, and if I'm, I stand corrected, but I'm nearly sure it was August 2000. It, you know, if it was completely full. And this event has has a, been a complete flop. And people are saying, well, it's COVID, it's this. COVID isn't stopping people traveling in Europe. Our airports are jam-packed all over Europe. People are traveling. So anyone that comes and oh, it's COVID, Robert, it's the restrictions. BS, BS. There is people, thousands upon thousands of people traveling all over Europe. We're seeing, I'm here in Portugal at the moment. They had the Fiesta de Saint Jean. Uh, uh, St. John's festival, packed, absolutely packed, Porto packed, and yet the Vatican can't fill the St. Paul the Sixth Hall or can't fill the Piazza San Pietro for Mass, closing Mass, which was today. You can go and look at the video that the Vatican has published. Something seriously wrong in how the Vatican has organized itself. And this is, you know, it's a PR disaster for the Pope. It's definitely it's it's a flop for Cardinal Kevin Farrell who hasn't been able to engage groups around the church to come to this event. This is the number one reason why this pontificate, you know, is not bearing fruits because it's not engaging the right groups in the church. They've walked away from this, as far as I can see. Maybe I stand corrected. Maybe somebody can can give me a better view. You know, the email says a lot. Uh, it, you know, who knows? Unless. The church is able to engage families. Uh, I mean, that, that's the next generation of the faith. Where we, where will we go? Anyway, God bless here in Santiago on the Camino de, de, de Santiago and um, walking up from Porto. And so we're, we're slowly making our way up to uh, Santiago de Compostela. Beautiful weather. Uh, but I do ask you for your prayers. And, uh, you know, please pray for the church. Please pray for the faith. Um, maybe if somebody has more information why the World Meeting of the Families has, has been such a flop this year, let me know. I'd be very interested in it. Um, because there's a lot of Catholic groups out there. I'm surprised they didn't engage them. But who knows? Anyway, God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.